Hello everyone, I'm the Island Ranger and welcome back to Wakfu. Currently we're back in the larvae nest, this time going after the nanny li larva herself. But first we gotta go kill all these little guys again. It'll probably be a very similar fight, so... Well... <laughs> Alright, the fight will be very similar to as before, so I'm gonna cut right here and we'll meet you back for the nanny for the secret door it seems that I've got a level up so might as well record it uh, this time we got a bonus to our chance let's increase our berserk damage making us do more damage once we hit 50% HP and let's increase our coagulation through tattoo blood And we'll head, and I'll meet you back after the cut. Um, after we are, once we're at Nanny Larvae. And we're back from the cuts. And we're at the sealed door. Give the password. And now we're in for the Nanny Larvae fight. You'll see here there's multiple starting positions, but we want to stay back here because Nanny Larvae will these will remove walk food points which we don't use right now but trust me when I say they'll become important in the future first let's slow this thing down so we can try and catch up to it hey we are just getting slowed here out the yin yang. Yeah, right. Stop moving, Nanny Larvae. Uh, if she doesn't listen. But I got her backed up into a corner now. So, we should be able to just stop her right here. Alright. As you notice, I put a air spell and a fire spell into my move list. There's a reason behind that. The air spell allows me to jump up here. And I can just drop a rock right on her and myself, getting that... Sweet hour up. And the fire spell is up I'm use I'm using the fire spell to try and get a um neat combo that I like doing, which probably would have been a lot easier to use here in this fight if I built started working on it earlier. down and our spells have leveled up yay so we just got a quest for cross our fellow losers and we also got two other quests tutorial a tutorial quest which we need to talk to Pappy about and no regrets which we need to reach level 10 those we'll take care of in a short minute. Well, the level 10 will be just whenever I next level it up. But the tutorial quests will be taken care of in a minute. So let's talk. head back to Donnie and see what he has to say. Hmm, I, feel, I can feel that you have a lot of potential. I never met an adventurer like yourself. With your skills and the training I've given you, you're finally re ready to tackle the minions of in Algris Cult. Sweet! Which way is it? Don't rush. Stay on your guard, especially with Shreddy. Danger is everywhere. Their camp is a little to the east of here. Take my Nunkapi. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Thanks, Don Angel. I'll equip it right now and head to their camp. And now we get ourselves some weapons. We also got a necklace from nanny larvae and we're ready to go
running, 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 heading this way, and first a Drago Turkey. And also you'll see here a Phoenix. You want to, if you're going into a dungeon raid or whatnot, grabbing the nearest Phoenix will save you a lot of time if you are to die. Because tr I remember um, activating a Phoenix in like Asturb, got killed in a random area, and had to go spend 10 minutes to get back there. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kick your ass, little Reaper. Oh, you're gonna run away? Like a wuss. And now he does runs over there. Like a wuss. Yeah, sorry if you can't see it. For some reason, the AI is set to get as far away as possible without standing on a tile. And in the end, it makes you go like that. Behind this giant statue of Ogres. And now, as you can see, a lot of pop-ups. A lot of pop-ups. So first, let's take care of the um what's popped up immediately. Uh, right here is the Olimax up in this corner. This is a daily quest that will pop up. Doing this quest each day will get you an Alma token. These tokens can be useful for a variety of things. From costumes to haven gems to even if you can remember to do this every day for a year. I know, big, big chore. You'll be able to get a emblem that has a whole range of certain buffs. Next up is another side quest called Chaos Plants. We're going to set that. And allow, and basically we have to go find and kill some plants. And we also got another quest that we need to talk to Pappy about. Also, we leveled up again. Because we hit level 10. Now we're going to take an another bonus to our max HP. Going to grab another point to Arg. And we can see here we get plus two percent additional damage for every ten arg we have. We can actually see what the what max level will be if we go here and go here. We'll see that our max level is twenty, and that's a ten additional damage per ten arg. That means at a hundred percent arg angar, that's a hundred percent extra damage. Very useful. You combine it onto multi arm, which is um, for each stack, you know, each percentage of multi arm you're at, at max level, which is level 80, that's an additional 80% damage. We're talking about at level 1 HP, you having over 180, roughly 180 bonus damage just from those two point stacks. There's also a lot of other stuff. Um, here, but do do do, and let's see. Can we get in? Poppy Pal surely has a key to open this lock since he's been an after so long. Looks like we gotta go talk to Pappy, the Pal key. Well, I'll be cutting here to head to Pappy. Hello, little one. How are you getting along with your mission? I trained with Don Landro in the sewers, and now I'm ready to fight the cult, but the entrance to their temple is blocked. I was thinking you might be able to help me. Hmm, this, this rings a bell. The old key. Don Landro told me to keep it well hidden. It sh must surely be at home. Mommy Pouch must have carefully put it away. Thanks, baby. I'll go see Mammy right now. We'll do that in the next episode, everyone. I'm the Other Ranger, signing out.